Hi everyone, welcome to an unboxing video. Today I have the Cobb Tuning uh, Cold Air Intake. So this, this this particular one goes on a uh, Volkswagen Golf uh, GTI, a Mark VI. Uh, so I guess I will tell you a little bit more about why I chose this particular intake. Uh, it's not cheap, it's about 750 Australian dollars. Uh, but I won't blab on about it right now. I guess I'll just get on with the unboxing and if anybody's interested, you, know, you can stick around and listen to why I chose this and why I decided to go with it over some of the others. So without further ado, let's sort of crack it open. Uh, and guys, this, this video is more about just first impressions, uh, just so you can sort of get a look and feel of, um, of what's inside the packaging, what you get. Uh, the, the sort of the, the quality and, and that sort of thing. I will make some videos about or a video about sort of the installation. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll go with a how-to yet, but um, sort of show the installation, some some sound clips and that sort of thing. So I should say this particular intake is called the SF uh, Cold Air Intake. So I guess right off the bat, you see there's some pretty uh, pretty interesting packaging. So it looks like it's sort of uh, molded foam to fit the sort of the various parts uh, and pieces uh, snug so they don't sort of fly around. I did get this shipped in from the States, so I'm based in Australia. Um, so I guess the packaging is really good off of that. So I'll just put these on the side. So first thing we have is the, and I also should point out, this is a closed uh, box system. Uh, so it, it isn't an open intake, it is closed and I'll go into why I chose this a bit later on. So just bring it up to the camera. This is uh, metal, it's not plastic. Um, it's got a, the, uh, the badge right there, Cobb uh, SF intake system, that looks pretty cool. So I'll move the box to the side, I'll just lay out different parts so everybody could see clearly. I don't have the best sort of camera set up, uh, but I guess we'll work with what we have. So next we have, again, metal, uh, the uh, sort of turbo piping. Got a lot of, lot of this uh, sort of injection molded sort of foam stuff here. Just pretty cool. But that's quite a bit of it, so I just need to sort of lay it on the side. Next, we have the uh, sort of the rest of the box assembly. Again, metal. So just a sort of closer look. It's pretty neat. Looks pretty neat. So I'll take it this part, goes over it in sort of this fashion. And this is where the sort of the air filter or the pop filter goes in. We'll get to that in a minute. More of the injection molded stuff. So this is pretty cool. Looks like I'll get sort of like a license plate cover. Bomber, it looks like that it's a sort of made for the American market, not the Australian market, but I guess we'll, we'll see how it goes. I've got thinner number plates, uh, but pretty cool. I guess you get it for free, they throw it in there. And uh, we get two boxes. So it looks like I'm gonna be doing a um, unboxing within an unboxing, if that makes sense. So I'll move all this stuff to the side. Two boxes we get so this one looks like it's uh, stable. Let's uh, go ahead and tear it open. Okay, cool. This is I presume. So this is the pod. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and lift that open just to give you guys a better look. Uh, off the bat, it looks pretty good quality. Um, so it's got the oil, the oil sort of residue, uh, it says cob on there. Um, yeah, it's oily, pretty cool. Looks like it's a uh, pretty good quality. I've got another one anyway in the garage that's very good quality, but 
I was gonna use if, if if this one wasn't so good. That's sort of what I was afraid of, but it looks pretty good quality. There's the uh, adapter or flange, if you will, for the uh, cold intake. So this, I presume, goes. I'm oh, sorry for the filter, I should say. This goes into the air box and sort of connect it that way. Performance air filter cleaning instructions, which is pretty good. Um, I guess these days you can Google everything, but it's, I guess, a nice touch to add that in there. I'll move this to the side. I presume this is the silicon piping. So let's go ahead and just shred that open. Okay, and the hose clamps and so on. Okay, so it looks like we have a bag full of uh, brackets. So they're the different mounting brackets. Uh, and we have a, an Allen key. Everyone knows what an Allen key looks like. Um, so these right here look like the PCV valve adapters. Yep. So they are aluminium, which is pretty good. So they go onto the piping for the PCV valve adapter. Um, and one of them as well, I presume, because there's some Mark 6s that have a particular, some of them from the front air box have another sort of air pipe that you'd need to put on there, the air breather filter. My Mark 6 is not one of those, um, but if you do have one, then I guess you need to use one of those. Here are your different sort of nuts and bolts and, and look like rubber washers and your hose clamps, which is pretty cool. Obviously expect it to come with a kit. And then you have your uh, Cobb branded uh, silicon hoses. I'll open one of them. What's this one down here? There you go, there's your breather. So again, this is not gonna go on my Mark 6, but it is a breather uh, sort of uh, filter if you need one. So it caters for both models. I believe there's two sort of slightly different types of Mark 6s, just slight variations. Uh, and there's sort of a close up of the, um, the silicon hose. It's actually pretty good, pretty thick, very good quality. It looks and feels very durable, and I like that it's got the cob branding. Uh, so there's the other one. You also get a um, some cob stickers if you'd like to put those on your on your car somewhere, rear windscreen or sort of whatnot. Uh, and uh, thank you, Superior Service is our goals. Uh, by Matt, so there's a bit of a card on there, which is pretty cool. Thanking you for the purchase. So this particular hose here, is, I presume, so this one I presume comes out of the turbo. Um, so it connects to the turbo at the bottom and I believe one of the PCV adapters I think this one connects into this uh, and then you've got the PCV adapter but we won't get into that right now because obviously I'm going to go through an install video this is more just an unboxing just to see what's in here get a look and feel um, but I really love the finish it's got like a nice sort of grey etched look to it. I'm not sure if the camera can get it that good. But it looks really really nice, really cool. Really good quality so far. Um, but again looks wise, I mean for me it passes a test but let's see how it sounds, how it performs, uh, sort of if it makes a difference and so on. So I guess I'll get on to the reason why I went with the cob intake and spent a little bit extra. Thank you. 